Why you upset like Cinderella teens? You should see the things I feel inside these denim jeans. I can't associate with y'all this shit like ketamine. Been on one, been on two, been on everything. Bitch, it's insane. What's good, YouTube? Back with another video yet, and today we're trying to take the perfect photo with some steel wool. I saw these pictures on Instagram. I saw it from a good photographer, North Boris, which is based in Australia, Melbourne. He did this once, and I absolutely have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm inspired. Basically what we are doing is lighting up some steel wool on fire. This is used to wash your dishes or the pan and actually this is highly inflatable. The thinner the steel wool the better and the better it will burn. Basically you take like an egg whisk, you put in the steel wool in here, make it a little fluffy, then light it up with your lighter and it should burn or catch fire and then once you attach this to the rope and swing it around sparks should fly all over the place and when you're doing a long exposure with your camera the camera will catch all the sparks in the photo and it should look something like this friends keep in mind you're playing with fire this is dangerous the nature could easily get on fire so take maybe a buddy with you don't do it in places which are easy catching fire like on dry grass or something maybe choose a tunnel go under a bridge something like this and you should be fine with this said and done we will go pick up Lara and wait until it is dusk so we can do this picture for our location we chose a bridge and I hope when I swing the rope or the whisk the particles will bounce off the walls and will create a cool unique picture so I'm keen to try it so yeah this is this is our chosen location I think it's it's pretty good pretty safe we will not put something on fire we have some water with us all you need is your tripod a lighter the steel wall water and just have fun the wall photography all the sparkles will bounce off the wall and it looks safe in parallel we are doing our TikTok videos so go and check us out on TikTok and Instagram, Instagram Reel, whatever you prefer. I will be there with the new video about the sea wall photography and now we are trying to take some off this with the scissors and stuff it into the whisk. Are you excited? I'm very excited and nervous because we are playing with fire but we brought some water. I think the location is safe. It should work out fine. So we will go for f-stop around 8 and then our shutter speed will be I think around 6 seconds, 8 seconds and ISO will be around 100 to make sure that everything is in focus and we capture enough sparks. Probably the first shot is gonna be crap but let's, let's just try. Whoa! That was exciting. <laughs> <laughs> so as you saw, we have many, many different sparks. So sunglasses or any protection glasses are recommended. <laughs> it's insane. So I kind of don't like the first shot, it's pretty basic. It's really cool that it worked out, the first shot was okay. But we're gonna play with the perspective, I think. Maybe we're gonna go a little bit lower to the ground and try it one more time. Okay, so the second picture was way better and I have one more idea I want to try and I want to swing the whisk above my head to create like an umbrella. <sighs> I'm excited, I'm pumped to do this, but I'm a little bit scared. <laughs>
back to the editing booth. We have in total 13 pictures of the night and I'm pretty happy about this picture. So the first one wasn't total crap as I expected. We have beautiful, many different sparkles bouncing off the wall, but this one was the picture I was looking for. And the second picture was exactly the picture I imagined it in my head. We have a lot of different sparkles, little particles come off the roof, on the ground, they're reflecting. This is a perfect picture how I imagined it. All we changed, we have the same settings, exposure time 8 seconds, f8, ISO 100, 19 millimeters. But the only thing we changed is we stuffed more of the steel wool into the whisk and we swung even harder. So this is all we changed. I edited all these pictures with my preset Golden Vintage Glow Up 2.0 and this the before, this the after. Um, it was still bright outside, it wasn't cold all night so I recommend doing this especially if you're in a tunnel. This is enough light for you and it's good to see what you're doing in my opinion. So this is the first shot of the night I liked. Then we had the other shots. I tried to maybe swing it in different directions to get maybe even different bounce offs of the wall. Um, I didn't like them too much. Then I tried to do like a little orbit, so I turned a little in a circle. I think this was pretty sick. And then we have a little weaker ones, but we still achieved the look which we wanted. So the intention was to shoot this photo in a tunnel, especially to get this kind of yeah, bounce off the wall so I called it a success then the second thing was I wanted to create this spark umbrella around me so we went on the empty field and tried it out over there and this one is the picture I like the most it is my favorite picture I love how many different particles sparks we have in this picture it's amazing in my opinion even I turned a little sharp I didn't even move. <laughs> so this one pretty insane. Here we have the before and after. It's also edited with my golden vintage glow up 2.0. Um, and then we have these pictures. I didn't like them too much. Um, also here I try to make orbit around and create this hovering ball, but somehow I didn't get it right. Um, Maybe I just need to be faster and swing faster or slower. I don't know what is the problem. Maybe we're gonna try it next time. But I learned a lot today. Um, here we changed the exposure to 15 seconds. And as you see, you got even more in the frame of the fire. So I learned a lot today about steel wool photography and long exposures. I hope you learned something today. And if you like this video, help me out by subscribing and giving me a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.